Look at this magnificent, magnificent palace of Udaipur on a warm Saturday afternoon. The details of this palace is just so incredible. Yuda Power Palace on a very hot May 11th, 2013. I'm so happy to be here. Here is the magical city of Udaipur. Some of the houses are painted in uh, blue, some pink, some yellow, so it's not all blue. From the white city. This is the Toran Pole, the entrance gate with the Ganesha guarding and protecting the place. <laughs> Ganesh, elephant guard. In 1911, King George V invited all the rulers of India to attend the Darbar, a court in Delhi. And then, for each one of them, there was a chair, according to the, his statues. Pata Singh remained independent and didn't obey a lot of the British rules, tolerated the British, but maintained his independence, just as he refused to come under the rule of the Mughals. This is Haneki Borge, beautiful mirror and glass. Amazing detail. Kanj Kibori, Maharana Shambhu Singhji, Lotus Flower. Symbol of creation, preferred flower of Lord Shiva. in this courtyard were brought by Portuguese, some of them from China and some from Delft, Holland and Belgium. This is Moti Mahal with all the colorful glasses. Udaipur Palace. 
Dazzling view, the glass inlay and mosaics. Such a beautiful palace, Yudapur. Saturday, May 11, 2013. Such a joy to be here. Good mustache. Yes, very handsome. Beautiful, happy eyes. Look at those eyes, Mamma Mia. Very nice. Here is a beautiful Ganesha protecting the palace against all the evils. I learning so much about their tradition and culture and their love for independence and how difficult it was for the Mughal Empire to change their way and even the British had a difficult time to bring this particular royal family under their rule Marwar and I assume that he has all the attribute and character of the previous ancestors like independence, love for autonomy and independence which is a good things to have. Hopefully one day I'll meet him. Goodbye beautiful palace. I learned a lot. Yudapur Soraya, people who claim to be the direct descendant of the Son of God. Whether there is a real proof to that is questionable. Whether Krishna, Shakti, Shiva, and all those God and Goddesses, Parvati, were actually existent or they were just myth is also to my opinion is questionable but it's a beautiful story every turn you make there's so much beauty so much craftsmanship unbelievable